Hello class, this is Mr. Lehman, part two of lesson three of the smells unit here. Uh, one thing I want to point out, I left off last uh, part A, is that there's three options, there's three types of bonds that atoms could potentially form. Uh, the first example, if you see a single dash in between two elements, uh, that represents a single covalent bond. There's one shared pair of electrons between these two. Each carbon is sharing one of its valence electrons with the other. A second option is a double covalent bond, represented by two dashes, almost like an equal sign. Each carbon is sharing two valence electrons with the other carbon, so there's a grand total of four electrons being shared here, two by each. The maximum number of bonds that one atom can uh, share with another, or form with another, is a triple bond. A triple bond, each atom shares three electrons with the other, and so here in a triple bond, they're sharing a total of six electrons, or three pairs with each other. All right, let's get some more practice with isomers. Let's say we have C two H six N. How can we draw this? So I start with my carbons connected together. I attach an oxygen or nitrogen to the ends, and then I need to fill it in. Carbon needs. Change it to seven, my fault. And so we can fill this in with hydrogen. So that's one way we could draw this. Everything's good. Carbon has four bonds. Carbon has four bonds. Nitrogen has three bonds. Each hydrogen has one. If I want to rearrange this, I could do a carbon, nitrogen, carbon. And this would be an isomer. Ah, these are the same, they have the same formula, but they have different structures. So these are isomers of C2H7N. So now let's change the formulas. Let's try C2H5N. Like how can I do that? I just drew, I just drew C2H7N, so how can I just take out two, two hydrogens? Any time that you have less hydrogens than what you think you should have, that's a sign that you're going to have a double bond, or even a triple bond. So I can double bond my carbon and nitrogen together. Now carbon only attaches the two hydrogens. Nitrogen already has three bonds, two to this carbon, one to this carbon, so it's happy. And this carbon needs four bonds, so I fill it up with hydrogens, and everybody's happy. Carbon has four, carbon has four, nitrogen has three, each hydrogen has one bond. We're good. If I want to draw an isomer of this, if I want to draw an isomer, I can instead do a carbon, nitrogen, carbon. I could put the nitrogen on the end. Maybe I want to double bond this, these two carbons together. This carbon's happy. This carbon needs one more. This nitrogen needs two more. Boom, it's happy. There's an isomer, C2H5N.